subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews and Up. And today, we're going to get into another Windows 10 how-to video. And this is how to change your lock screen. Specifically, how to change the background, how to change it where things show up and certain other things. We're not going to get into the passwords and how to unlock it. That's a completely different one. But for this, this is in a beta version of Windows 10. And if things change between now and two months, whenever Windows 10 comes out, I will do an updated video and mark this as outdated in the title and put a link below saying where the updated video is. But as far as that goes, let's jump on in. So with this, what you want to do is be on the desktop itself and make sure that you're not hovering over an icon. If you do, you're not going to see this, but make sure you're on desktop itself in a blank space. Right click with your mouse, go down to personalize and allow this to open. Go down to lock screen. And from here, what you'll see is what your lock screen would look like. So what you need to do is on your background is go to the drop down menu and select what you want. Windows Spotlight is a assortment of random pictures that Windows has. These aren't personal pictures and these are located on your computer. I, I know this because I actually took the thing offline and tested it, but I don't know if it can grab. I'm pretty sure it can grab new photos offline so it recycles it and doesn't really look like it, it it's running out after two or three years you seeing something 40 50 times every month it, it kind of gets tiresome so i'm pretty sure they're going to grab images from their stuff and these images appear to be the same images that they use for bing their search engine so as far as that goes let's go into pictures and pictures, it pretty much shows a picture as expected for the background. So you might have a family or something that's in the background. And you can also use slideshow. Now slideshow requires to have pictures within a folder. And you can add folders by just clicking that and selecting the folder itself. Now with this, either on pictures or slideshow, you will get a... a um, little thing that comes up here that says get fun fact tips and so on and i'll advise you to leave that on if it's off click it to turn it on and this will just give you some interesting or at least possible useful information that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get so from here below this whether you're on spotlight or any of the others you can choose an app that sh shows stuff in detailed. And basically what this is, is you can see when your next appointments are going to be things of that nature. So what you can do is you can click that and you can select the apps. And unfortunately at this time, you can't add any apps. And yes, you heard me, it's apps. These are things you download from the Windows Store. So it's not random assortment of software that you download from the internet. This requires to go through the Windows Store. I will have a video on that later on, on how to use Windows Store. But anyways, the basically with the counter app, it shows the appointments that are coming up. Skype um, shows Skype stuff, Xbox, same thing, Xbox stuff. Now, one thing I want to tell you right now, and this is very, very important to understand. If your computer is mostly staying at home, I wouldn't worry too much about this. But if it goes out to public places, libraries, airports, hotels, things of that nature, especially work, school, things of that nature, I'll advise you to always click on this and make sure it says do not show in that way none of your personal information is getting out or at least you make it that much harder because while it's not showing anything like emails or anything like that 
that little bit of information may indicate something easier for a hacker. And please, if you don't know, watch my videos on hacking. And one of the biggest tricks that hackers use is social engineering, which is basically making a person tell them your uh, tell them your uh, password, and that way they know how to get into all the stuff because they know how to manipulate you. So it makes it a bit harder. So if you go into public places, make sure that this doesn't have anything. So what you will need to do is select that, select do not show and there you go if you're pretty much going to be at the house or whatever then show whatever you want but because this is in a virtual environment and it literally cannot work without me turning on a piece of software on my computer i'm just going to allow it to show so from here you can actually use so quick status and um like before, you have mail, calendar, alarm, and other things. And the thing to keep in mind with this one is the uh, mail, it doesn't show the actual mail itself. It just shows how many messages that are unread. And that way, you know if it's worthwhile to take a look at your mail. For mail, it is the actual mail app itself. So keep that in mind. Uh, but again, if you're going out in public and stuff, it, it, it may be worthwhile to just tick off all of these except for maybe search and some other stuff. It, it may, maybe alarm may be all right. But past that, anything that shows personal information to even was your dog's name, something like that, don't make it easier for hackers to manipulate you or to get into the system so i would advise take off all that stuff to do that like before you'll just click on the actual icon and select do not show and it will just take it off but if you don't care or you are pretty secure or whatever you have doesn't even show the data for example alarm that's just a bunch of numbers search or some this other then um i wouldn't worry too much about it in that aspect so below here we have timeout settings and also the um screen settings screen saver settings so timeout settings basically that says when the uh when should it go to sleep and when should it just turn the screen off now, I will get more into this into a later video whenever the thing fully comes out. The reason for that is because this is running in a virtual environment within a software within the actual operating system, the Windows 8 operating system we currently have running, a lot of these features are not available, like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and some other stuff. And um, I'm just gonna hold off on this a little bit. But in case if you're wondering, what this basically does is says how long until the uh, this turns off as or the screen turns off and for those who don't know if, if you're going to mark it as never which i advise against at all costs is um screens they have something called burnout if the screen doesn't show a change after a long period of time the pixels themselves actually burn an image and then you pretty much have to replace the entire monitor at that point yes the um, you can still tell what's there as far as if if i want to show a slideshow or whatever i can still tell what's there but when i have a burnout image within the screen itself if the screen's off i can still see the burnout image no matter what and then on top of that it may hinder my vision when I come in and, and uh, look at, try, try to look at something in detail and I got to still see that burnout image in the background and it almost looks like a ghosting effect. So I'll advise always have it where your screen can turn off at least. Sleep, it, it basically puts your computer into sleep or the, at least the operating system in this case. And um, it's up to you if you want to put that on never or whatever. And, 
this rest of stuff I'm getting to in a later video. Now, as far as the uh, screensaver, let's pull up that real quick. And it pulls up the old stuff. And what this does is, is you can actually use a uh, screensaver. It's kind of straightforward. Is turn on the screensaver. And this prevents that burnout that I was talking about. I'll get more detailed into this if requested in, a, in another video. But for the most part, the screensaver just prevents the burnout. And, um, and it allows you to notice that, hey, you're walked away for a while. And in some of these, they actually, uh, like Avast, they have a screensaver where it starts scanning the system when you walk away and screensaver turns on. They notice that you're not doing anything, so they might as well use that power to scan the system. So there's some advantages to having screensavers even in a day. But anyways, as far as that goes, that's pretty much about it. And if you do have any questions or anything, please leave that in the comment section. And also, if you've got any comments or want me to make a video on anything else, also leave that in the comment section too. And if you like this, please leave a like, subscribe, share, and please feel free to check out my other videos and follow us on Twitter so you can find out when we post new videos. Now, if you didn't like this, go ahead and leave a dislike, but tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder of Our Tech Views. Nope. I hope you have a great day.